Hi everyone, this is Gareth the Skewed and Reviewed, and I'm here to show you the God of War Ascension multiplayer beta. Sony was kind enough to uh, send it over to us and have told us that they would uh, graciously allow us to uh, post some gameplay video from this. Now, aside from my time at PAX uh, Prime last summer in one session earlier, I've not really played this much, so uh, I'm going to get owned quite badly. I did uh, manage to get a couple of people uh, out last time, but uh, wanted to at least give you an idea of what we have here. And of course, I'm starting from the title screens here so you can see everything. I will try to run the tutorial, if at all possible, because uh, I want you to see as much of this fantastic game as uh, we can possibly show you here. One of the great things about it is just when you think you're doing a great job, someone comes out and really uh, tells you otherwise. Now it has a great feature. It allows you to size the screen and do the brightness as well so you can fit it. As you see, we uh, you may not be able to see, but we have a very large uh, TV here that we're showing this on. And uh, so, you know, one of the things is we had to, even though we got a full picture screen, we had to scale it slightly. As you go on, you can uh, get new armor, new weaponry, that sort of things. I'm going to go through a training mode right now to give you an idea of how things will work in this. And you'll also see that as things work in training, they don't always work in the actual game when you go up against flesh and blood opponents. So here you are, you go up to Olympus, and in the early stages you pick a god that you want to pledge yourself to. As you see, there are various options. Uh, there's Zeus, you know, Poseidon, Hades, that sort of thing. Now, for my training, I chose Zeus, but, uh, you know, that can change depending on uh, which guard you decide that you want to go to. So I'm going to spar here. And as you see, the uh, more you spar, the better your opponent gets. It usually takes me a second or two to warm up. There's tons of moves, including some brutal finishing moves. You can block, you can parry, that sort of thing. When they get the halo over him like that, that means they're set up for a brutal finish. I'm toying with him a bit, but I will finish him. And as you can see, he's just milking it for all his work. So we got that taken care of. And I may have found a glitch. How about that? There we go. Glorious. So, that's what they call truly putting your foot down. So, the bad thing about this, and it's not a bad thing, it's actually a very good thing, is that, so here you go, you just stomp down a champion of the gods, you think you're a pretty big badass and you're ready for anything that can come at you. There are tons of moves. It's not just simply hitting square, 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 right one. You can do the basic moves very simply, but when you want to get really going, it takes a lot because you have to go at them in rapid succession. You can find yourself hitting a combination of X, triangle, square, right one, right two, that sort of thing. Now, while it's sitting here waiting to uh, pick up matchmake for me, um, you can, like I said, you can see here now, for those of you who can't make out over in the corner here, you got health power-ups, you got magic power-ups, elemental power-ups, physical power, physical um, resistance, you know, cooldowns and that sort of thing. You have up there, I can show you that I have my god, um, you know, affiliations. They're searching for match. I can match with Ares, but I'm going to stay with Zeus. So right now it's searching for a match, which, uh, you know, obviously since it is a beta, you don't have a ton of people 
that are online. But as you can see here, I can go in and here's some abilities. I don't have the, uh, you know, a high enough ranking to get them yet. Here's armor. I can take some upper armor for myself. And uh, all the armor is currently locked. So we'll have to come back for that. Helmet, same thing. They've got them, but currently locked for me. got the players ready and we're actually getting our countdown now. <sighs> like I said, hold the laughter folks, this is going to be brutal. <laughs> yeah, just, just when you think you're fast, the speed of some of these people is absolutely amazing. But uh, I can tell you easily, this is definitely going to be a must own for the PS3 people. The solo play, a little the bit of what I saw looks good. The anyway, I test out. even the might of it. Prove yourselves worthy by defeating your enemies and making sacrifices to the gods. So it's a four on four match. Right now we got two, uh, so there's three of us. As you can see, it comes quick. Go over here and get a power up. Leap into battle. I kind of like to vulture. If I see a guy weak, I go hit him in the back. It's, you know, kill or be killed, folks. And he just took me out. Spawn back in. Unleash your fury. Knock a guy down, but you gotta watch your back because the other guy will come in and take advantage of it. Grab him with my chain, grapple him, throw, kick him, throw him to the ground. And he recovered. And I'm still in. He's trying to finish me off. What she does. You may not rest. So I decide I want to bring in a new weapon now. And as you see there, I hooked him with the with the hook, pulled him in, flipped him over my shoulder, took him out with the finishing move. Since he killed me earlier, I'm going to get some points at Endgame for revenge. As you see, I've got a hammer as well, and I'm, sw I'm swapping between weaponry when able. But And he got me as I was trying to take out another guy. Now, in a moment, we're going to try to show you up some power-ups, where you can call in the power of the gods and things will get really intense. But the chains are definitely a huge asset if you pick them right. As I said, not easy. Only the second time I played it. The throw and kick are definitely great ways to get them off your back. Got a little bit of a revenge there. Not much, but...
drop my guard and you got me. You see we got the clock ticking away up there. There's about six minutes left. We'll try to go through the whole game. Yep, two on one, never a good idea. You don't last. Restore the faith of the gods. Five thousand favor to go. They give you a goal that they want you to get. Sometimes you gotta be, remember, don't always want to be powerful with your move. Sometimes a quick jab underneath is more than enough. Fight if you seek mastery. This guy knows the stuff here, that's for sure. But I got it. Finally. <laughs> So, and here comes the tally. So, five kills, seven deaths, 3,600 combat points, 3,600 favor. Good enough for second place in the match. So you get your match XP. Death Dealer. So we get some uh, bonus points for things I did on top of kills. And I'm getting closer and closer to level 3. So as you can see, you go back, you can take your newfound abilities, power up. There were all sorts of things that are also available like calling in death from above, power of the gods, that sort of thing. But this gives you an idea of this and uh, we'll be doing more as we get closer to launch.